So let's take a look at Intel's Core i5-5300U, a broad belt U series processor U standing for ultra low voltage processor. Basically, i5-5300U is based made from Haswell's uh, Haswell technology. It's a new and upgraded manufacturing process, um, which is a 14 nanometer, and Haswell was 22 nanometer. Basically, the new manufacturing process it reduces the size of the die, making more making it more profitable for Intel, and more importantly, it reduces the power consumption in the processor and bringing with it uh, higher performance possible. Uh, Intel also does a little bit of tweaking with its uh, with its architecture and basically it has improved branch prediction, bigger buffer size that, that brings itself a performance improvement of about 5% or something around that. Intel also introduces a new instruction set that this that broad well for the mostly for the cryptography which is not immediately available because software support does not come start right away but you should see in in future that support for new instruction sets making the things faster for all the things that use cryptography coming back to the i3-5300u we have it's a two core and four thread processor so it's a 2.3 gigahertz base clock and 2.7 gigahertz turbo clock. You can also see this information in this uh, Greek uh, slide here uh, that shows it. Uh, so basically, if you can see that uh, 5300U, uh, it has a base clock of 2.3 gigahertz and 2.7 gigahertz is the max to dual core dual core turbo but if you want to turbo only a one core it's going to be 2.9 gigahertz uh, the power rating is 15 watts TDB which is commendable because Intel is able to give 2.3 gigahertz a pretty, pretty good information in such a uh, smaller power envelope uh, as we said, we can see, we can expect a 5% performance improvement over Haswell for the uh, for give it for the same clock. Graphics is a different story, as you can see um, in the graphics. The Core i3 that 5300U comes with HD graphics 5500 and what we now have is a new support for DisplayPort 1.2 very nice it's a native support so the, the graphic display will be crude and you will get the display as well as support for the USB on the same cable we now have a support for DirectX 11.2 and, and we should expect that most of the games should be fluently playable in low setting and many of them in also in the medium settings the HD Graphics 5500 has 24 execution unit, making it uh, pretty good, much better than the uh, Haswell's HD 4000 series and also HD Graphics 5000. So, for the performance comparison, if you compare it, for example, with 4200U, you should have at least about 20% performance improvement. Part of it coming from the increased clock frequency, but a part of it coming from the improved processor performance improvement. Thanks for taking a look.